<laughs> Good evening, family and friends of Bonner Springs Church of the Nazarene. Welcome again to this uh, Wednesday night, Wednesday evening devotional as we uh, continue this and appreciate you joining us tonight. Thank you for taking time out to join with us this evening on this very cold Wednesday night. And uh, <clears throat> I know we had uh, we had a little break uh, over the weekend and early Monday uh, that it was warm, but whew, it got cold in a hurry on Monday afternoon. In fact, we were that's when we had Susie's brother Larry's um, memorial <clears throat> and interment uh, Monday afternoon. And, when we started, it was close to 50 degrees. By the time we ended, it was like 38, 38 degrees, and wind was blowing and cloudy, and man, it just it got cold in a in a fast hurry. But uh, <clears throat> I'm I'm free. My hands are really cold tonight down here. But uh, hey, my heart's warm with the love of God and with His grace and His uh, His smile shining on us. And I hope that you are experiencing that as well tonight. So welcome to this Wednesday night, January 26th. Can you believe January is almost over already? And uh, we're just, we're having a great time, aren't we? <laughs> That's good. Well, thank you all for your continued prayers for us. And thank you for lifting up our brothers and sisters as well in Christ and and uh, those who, who need special encouragement tonight. Let's keep praying for each other and uh, holding each other up before the Lord, that is uh, certainly what is needed. For all of us, we need it. And uh, as you know, tomorrow night now, the ladies uh, Thursday night Bible study will not be having their study tomorrow night, but they will be getting together on Friday, Friday evening, those of them who are in town anyway, they, they have several who join uh, on the Zoom, it's a Zoom only meeting, and we they have several from out of town that join that Zoom meeting, <clears throat> but for those who are in town, they're having a, a gathering on Friday night at six o'clock, or at six o'clock, Friday night at uh, the house of Lynn Lane, and uh, the directions. I think the address anyway was on the sign-up sheet at the uh, on the welcome center at church. So if you paid attention to that, or if you didn't, and you're still interested in going, please reach out to us, send us a text, a message, <clears throat> uh, a question. Let us know that you're interested and you need that. We'll be, we'll be glad to provide that address for you or phone number, whoever you need. But they'd love to have you, and it looks like they had several interested to uh, join them on Friday night. So <clears throat> that'll be, they'll have a wonderful time, and uh, they'll be glad, you'll be glad to join. So that's uh, coming up on Friday night. And then, of course, Saturday night, Saturday evening is our Young at Heart those who are 50 or around there young if you're just young at heart and you want to be a part of it will <laughs> they'll let if they let me come they'll let you come so you're able to you're be glad to have you join us and uh, i think Susie mentioned sunday morning about playing mexican train or mexican railroad she called it <laughs> mexican train but i know there's a group of us that also like to play rook so if you're into that we'd love to have you uh, they're teaching me how to play that so anyway, it's just a time to get together, and uh, I think we're having, is it soup and soup? Uh, we're having soup or something like that. Taco bar. Or a taco bar, having a taco bar on uh, Saturday night, as well as, as good fellowship together. And it just it's just a fun, a fun time, so you'll be glad. And that's at the church downstairs, so uh, on Saturday at 5.30, I think it's 5.30, on Saturday evening. So we'll look forward to seeing you there if you'd like to join us and get out of the cold and have some warm, warm fellowship together then of course on sunday sunday morning the bible study that meets at, at nine o'clock downstairs in the church um we'd be glad to have you join there as brother jerry poe leads that <clears throat> that bible study and uh, charles smith has been a part of that as well but uh, so that that happens at nine o'clock downstairs in person and then, of course, our regular worship at 10 o'clock. And then the teens that get the teens get together with Pastor Griffin at 5 o'clock Sunday evening. And uh, they have, have a great time. And Pastor Griffin, his test came back negative. So those of you who were, who were worried about that and praying for him as he was sent home, not able to be with us on Sunday because of waiting for the results of his test, 
but he came back negative and he's uh, doing better. So we're thankful for that. And they will meet Sunday night, Sunday evening at five o'clock. <clears throat> and that is if they don't get too wrapped up in the Chiefs game that plays earlier on Sunday, the, the AFC Championship game. And uh, those of you who were able to watch that game this past Sunday evening, uh, I'm glad that you're still with us, that you didn't get put in the hospital with a heart attack or heart failure or uh, biting your nails off or whatever else you, you got involved in. Um, anyway, it, it was a great game, a uh, whole, whole list of games that weekend. But uh, it, was, it was at least the Chiefs came out on top, and we're grateful for that. And then, of course, uh, Monday... Monday night, the, the, the Bible study, the ladies' Bible study led by Pastor Barb will be uh, at the church in person and by Zoom too or phone call. I think they have a hybrid situation, but uh, mostly they're at the church in person on Monday night at 6 o'clock. And uh, we extend that invitation, of course, to you as well. And then, uh, then back again for our regular, our regular activities as we come back to Wednesday again. But... Uh, well, here we are, and I trust that you are, are warm this evening. I, uh, I, I mentioned last week that we would be uh, continuing in our Psalm 37, continuing our, our look at Psalm 37. We started last week about uh, do not fret, and uh, that's what Psalm 37, 1, do not fret because of those who are evil or be envious of those who do wrong. And then verse 3 says, But trust in the Lord and do good. Uh, <clears throat> dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. So that we dwelt, dealt on those, dwelt on those first three verses last week on Wednesday. So tonight I'm, we're going to stay with that theme about how not to fret, how to put our trust in, in God, in the Lord. And then tonight at verse 4, 37, Psalm 37, verse 4, where he says, take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. <clears throat> take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. I think there's a lot of us who need this admonition of the psalmist here to delight in the Lord, to, to find the joy of our souls in his presence, in his will, in his blessing and his benediction, find your delight in him. And and why do we need why do we need this at this specific admonition? Well, that's a good question. I'm glad you asked. I'll try to answer that. It's because we, we need this admonition because we well we are just inclined to to find our delight or as well as to endure our distresses with too little thought about God. We're, we're just inclined to find our delight or to deal with the distresses of life without too much thought about God. And as a result, we, we become burdened and fretful when our circumstances aren't as pleasant as we'd like them to be or we'd hope them to be. So, how can we delight? When he says, don't fret, because the evildoers seem to be enjoying their life and getting by with whatever, don't, don't fret about that. Trust in the Lord. And then here in verse 4, Delight yourself in the Lord, and he'll give you the desires of your heart. So how can we delight in the Lord? Well, we begin by delighting in God's presence with us. We begin by recognizing his presence and delighting in his presence with us. Open your spiritual eyes to him, to see him. To see who he is, a, a personal, paternal, patient presence who is with his children always. For he says, 
I am with you always. That's what Jesus said. I am with you always, even to the end of the age, to the end of the world. So open our spiritual eyes to see him, a personal, paternal, patient presence who is with his children always. He's, he's with us as we gather in his name to worship together, and he's with us as in our homes. We bow at the, at the table or we read from the scriptures, he is with us, always. But he's, he's with us. He's with us no less in the doing of our daily duties, our daily task. Whether it is you go to work, whether you stay at home and work at home, or whether you, uh, whatever it is that you do during the day, he's with us in our daily activities. He's with us in the midst of the bearing of our burdens. He's with us even in the enjoyment of our pleasures. He's with us to the solving of our problems. He's with us. Yes, he is with us everywhere and in all things. He's with us as we walk in obedience to his will, he's with us. Those who are in obedience to his will, he is with you. He's with us even when we stray from his will, he's with us. He's with us calling us back to his way. Now, if we keep pushing him away when he keep, he's trying to call us back and he, we keep pushing him away, then, then he, he's not one to force us against our will. And he'll leave you alone for, for a while. But whenever there's people praying for us, he hears those prayers. And he's faithful to those. So even when we, we try to stray from his, from his way, he's calling us back. He's with us everywhere. Always with us. As you delight in him, your, your desires will be brought into harmony with his will and then your steps will be ordered by him if you go a little bit further down here in this psalm of psalm 37 take take a look at verse 23 at verse 23 and some of you might remember this this passage of scripture uh, this verse verse 23 in the king james version or older versions where it, a lot of us who are older remember that verse that says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delights in his ways. And then the NIV here says, the Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. Though he may stumble, he will not fall for the Lord upholds him with his hand. That's it. So as you learn to delight in him, then your desires will be brought into harmony with his will and your steps will be ordered by him. Your steps will be ordered by him every day. That's why it's important to seek him, seek his will, seek his way, do what he wants. So that's where the psalmist comes in. That's where this admonition comes in here in verse 4 of chapter 37. Delighting yourself in the Lord. Delight in his, in his fellowship in that that special communication of your soul with him. Greet him as you wake up in the morning. Begin the day with that, with that blessed conversation with him, which we call prayer. Begin it with him. And throughout the day, take whatever moments you can. Take whatever moments you can and, and pray with him. Even if you happen to be driving down the road or or at a lunch break, or wherever, whatever you're doing, take the time. Have that communication with God. Seek His presence. Seek His will in all the things of your life, everywhere. Because He's with you through it all. We said in our daily activities, He's with us in those times. Share His mind. Share His counsel. Share His love. And share it with others. As you feel led, 
to do it. Not something we force or cram down anybody's throat, but as the doors open and opportunities arise and be led by the Spirit. Because as we delight in Him, our desires will be brought into harmony with His will and His way, and He will order your steps, as we've already alluded to. But it all starts with 37, 1, and 3. Do not fret. Trust in the Lord. And then verse 4, take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Wow. Take that promise, brothers and sisters, rest upon it. And so when you think about that, it causes me to ask, what actions can you take that will allow you to delight yourself in the Lord? What actions can you take starting now? What actions can you take to delight, allow yourself to delight in the Lord? And when you think about those actions as you write them down or think about them, now implement those actions today, starting today, from this moment on. And then you can go, I don't know if you're one that writes in your Bible or not, or maybe you make notes and stick them in there like I do. I write notes, stick them in, either on, on sticky notes or something, post-it notes. But circle Psalm 37, verse 4 in your Bible and remind yourself of this promise often. Take delight in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Wow. Wow. <laughs> What an amazing promise. There, there's a lot more to be said. I, I'm, going to, I'm going to try to continue in this Psalm 37 at least next week. So we'll, we'll see how, how much further, but at least next week I think I have some more thoughts on these verses. But don't fret. Trust in the Lord and delight yourself in Him. Allow your desires to, as you delight in Him, your desires will become become in harmony with his will and his way to where he will order your steps. Your steps will be ordered by him. So, and when I when I thought about that, and it, it just reminded me of an old chorus we used to sing. And some of you who used to come when we, a long time ago, when we first started at Bonner, we had those Sunday evenings. We'd We'd play guitar and sing or have somebody play the piano. We'd sing those choruses. There was a chorus that went with Psalm 37, verse 23, and it went like this. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, though he fall, he will not be cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. With his hand, with his hand, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. Though he fall, though he fall, he will not be cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, though he fall, he will not be cast down. For the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. With his hand, with his hand. For the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. Though he fall, though he fall, he will not be cast down. For the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. So some of you might remember that, that old chorus that we used to sing on Sunday night, but uh, it, it's true, it's good. That's just a fun chorus. But another song that was on my on my mind as I was thinking about this, and I was like, wow, just being able to delight and, and uh, delight in the Lord and committing to His way, accepting Him, I, I, and, and what, what a wonderful life that He provides for us and that our way is ordered our steps are ordered by him as we learn to delight and everything is brought in harmony with him out of our hymn book number 557 for those of you who follow with me 557 is an old song from back in the 1800s 1896 um, 
This one here, it's called Under His Wings. Under His Wings, I am safely abiding. Though the night deepens and tempests are wild, still I can trust Him. I know He will keep me. He has redeemed me, and I am His child. Under His wings, under His wings, who from His love can sever. Under His wings my soul shall abide, safely abide forever. Under His wings what a refuge in sorrow, how the heart yearningly turns to His rest. Often when earth has no balm for my healing, there I find comfort, and there I am blessed. Under his wings, under his wings, who from his love can sever? Under his wings my soul shall abide, safely abide forever. Under his wings, oh what precious enjoyment, there will I hide till life's trials are o'er. Sheltered, protected, no evil can harm me. Resting in Jesus, I'm safe evermore. Under his wings, under his wings, who from his love can sever. Under his wings, my soul shall abide. Safely abide forever. Oh, under his wings, under his wings, who from his love can sever. Under his wings, my soul shall abide. Safely abide forever. Aren't you thankful for that? It's a wonderful promise tonight, brothers and sisters. Delight yourself in the Lord. Don't fret. Trust in Him. Delight yourself in Him, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Wow, everything, as we seek to bring our desires in harmony with his will and his way. And he will order our steps. <laughs> Father God, I thank you for your goodness to us tonight. Thank you for your word and how it speaks to us, how it applies to our, our lives even right now. And I pray that, Lord, you would help us to, to take it upon ourselves, to, to take whatever actions we might need to take to allow ourselves to uh, to learn <laughs> Lord, to bring all of our desires into harmony with your will and your way so that you would order our steps every day and help us to share that with whoever it is we come in contact with. Lord, I give you thanks for that. I give you thanks for how, it's your, how that you are helping those who need help. You're, you're giving health to those who need help. You're giving the physical touch to those who need that touch. You're giving encouragement to those who need those who are struggling emotionally and spiritually and physically. Would you just encourage them tonight, I pray? I pray that Lord you would continue to be with us as we learn to navigate where we are as a church and that we would we would begin to not live in fear and not be in fear of what anyone else may think or have an opinion of us except for your, what your opinion is of us. And we want to be, we want to always seek to be pleasing to you. Seeking your will as you lead us. We want to be faithfully obedient 
to your will and way. So, Lord, give us strength. Give us courage, I pray. Bind us together, I ask, Lord. And as we learn to delight ourselves in you, you will give us the desires of our heart. We claim that promise tonight. In the strong name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for joining us tonight. And if you're just joining us, uh, please don't forget to give us a, a thumbs up, a like, or let us know that you're watching and say hi to us. If you have questions, please send those questions in as well. You can do that here on, on this Facebook page, or you can do it by a private message or, or send me a text um, on the, or get us, send us an email on the website, however you see fit to do it. That, that's up to you. But uh, thank you for joining us tonight. I just I pray that you will find God's word rich to your life and to your heart. And may your family enjoy his peace and his presence this evening in a very real way. Well, I guess we'll see you next week, Wednesday night. But uh, before then, we'll see you on Sunday. And those of you, don't forget the ladies that get together on uh, on Friday this this coming Friday at 6 o'clock at Lynn Lane's house up in Baser. And then, of course, Saturday night, the Young at Heart, that's 5.30 at the church for tacos, taco bar, and playing games and having fun. We'll see you there. And, uh, and I think it's supposed to be warmer again this weekend. At least I'm I'm hoping that they're right. And uh, we will we'll have a good time. That'll, that'll help us all for sure. And uh, so we're looking forward to that. And then, of course, we'll see you Sunday morning. The Bible study that meets at nine o'clock downstairs, and we'd, they'd love to have you join them there as well. And then our regular worship time at ten o'clock Sunday morning. We'll see you in person at the church. Uh, a few more stepping out last, this last week, and we're grateful for that. But if you're not able to make it, uh, then we'll see you here online ten o'clock Sunday morning. So until then, brothers and sisters, take care of yourselves and each other by prayer and support, and encouragement, edifying one another. Do that. God bless you, richly bless you, and we'll see you then. Good night.